well, this is very nice. Just right for a night away from home. Now you might think this is an ordinary business hotel, but look again. There's in-room CCTV cameras for one thing, which is a bit unusual. In fact, people who stay the night here are helping scientists study sleep, in particular, how people in pain sleep or not. By studying the sleep here overnight, we will be able to see uh, the sleep architecture, the sleep pattern of people with chronic pain. And by understanding more about the sleep pattern, hopefully we'll be able to come up with some better ideas how to treat sleep disturbance in chronic pain patients better. Getting ready for bed here involves more than just brushing your teeth and changing into your pyjamas. There are sensors, an awful lot of sensors. So you've had it done yourself? Yes, I have, yeah. <laughs> Any tips? Um, I think people should just, um, after a while, you don't really feel it. I think if you stop paying attention to it, um, really, and they just you, you sleep normally. Ready for bed, it's time to try and get to sleep. Now, all night, my brain activity, my breathing, position, leg movement, heart rate and more will be monitored. Good morning, David. Time to wake up. It's 8 o'clock. I had a lot of dreams about being wired up to a lot of cables. <laughs> Do I have to keep them on or can I take them off soon? <laughs> And after a shower and some tests, it's time for my results. Quite a few awakenings throughout the night, um, suggesting that perhaps um, you have been having quite a few <laughs> tossing and turning around, as we have seen from the video. <laughs> what this laboratory is all about is very fundamental research, trying to pull apart the reasons why some of us can sleep at night and some of us can't. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.